Alright, welcome back. Next up we have Dr. Light versus Robin. And much like with the Trigon and Rage battle that took place in Raven's Head, we're now seeing Robin's uh, slightly crazy mental interior. Good fight. Don't let up. So far, Robin is manhandling Dr. Light. He's unable to really get a lot of hits into Robin. Robin able to either dodge or block most of Dr. Light's attacks. Because whilst his light show may be at the speed of light, Dr. Light most certainly isn't. Good work. So far, Robin making a mockery of Dr. Light, but we'll see if he's able to pull things back from the clutches of defeat. So tell me, do you see a beautiful white At the very least, he's looking dazzling. Good job. And he is actually managing... Oh, perhaps I started speaking too soon. Managing to pull things back, managing to lay quite the hell of a beatdown on Robin. And then Robin comes back with some expert martial arts. Good work. And it looks like Dr. Light won't be managing to hold on for too much longer. He's just taken too many hits. And he's done. Robin will be going through to the next round. Now we move on to Slade versus Bumblebee. You didn't really think you could take me, did you? We'll see how long Bumblebee can hold on for. I'm not expecting her to be able to win against Slade, but she may surprise us. It is your choice. While Slade may have an incredible array of fighting techniques and an incredible array of technology at his disposal, he hasn't fought Bumblebee before. She may have some tricks up her sleeve that he isn't expecting. You didn't really think you could take me, did you? So far, it seems like no matter what Bumblebee is able to dish out, Slade is able to fight through it. She is managing to defend herself quite well, though. It'll take a lot more than that to swat me down. But she hasn't managed to do much damage to him in return. Submit to defeat and your pain will be over. Oh, it's almost like he's just toying with her at this point. And so far, it's as I expected. Slade is in the lead. We'll see if he can manage to maintain his dominance. And continue... ...hurting Bumblebee. Do you really think you can challenge me? And we're actually seeing this fight at Titan's East where Bumblebee regularly hangs out. Not sure what's happened to some of the other members of Titans East. Perhaps Slade decided to deal with them before coming into the competition. Maybe we'll see one or two more of them later on. Oh, and Bumblebee managing to lift and throw Slade. That's got to be damaging to the ego. But so far it looks like he's not letting it get to him. 
He's still maintaining the pressure. He's still maintaining the fight. Oh, but Bumblebee managing to fight back. Is this the end or the beginning? We'll see if Bumblebee is able to square this up, able to put this bout at one all. It'll take a lot more than that to swap me down. Is this the end or the beginning? It is your choice. Or perhaps not. Perhaps Slade is just too much for her. Last time you'll tell me to buzz off. Yep, it seems like Bumblebee has been defeated. Ah, oh, quite the shame, but it's as I expected. So now, let's take a look. At Mad Mod versus another mechanical contraption. As I said before, there are huge machines in play trying to prove themselves to be expert fighters, able to take on heroes and villains alike, so that other villains and perhaps some heroes might decide to purchase them. Right now, though, it seems like Mad Mod's gadgetry know-how, his mechanical creations, are quite a bit better than what anyone else can produce. His toy soldier able to bash through this giant robot's defences and reduce it to nuts and bolts. So now we move on to round two. I have to admit, if I had the cash, I would buy myself one of these robots. It may not be quite as good as what Mad Mod can create, but so far it is proving itself to be quite the challenge. Hugely tough energy attacks. But it looks like Mad Mod is going to be the victor. Quite a short fight to that one. The robot was just unable to hold out against a superior one. Now, however, we're moving on from two robots to two organics. Wildebeest versus Fang. And as the two of them are both biological combatants, they're also both more animalistic. Wildebeest, obviously, a wildebeest. And Fang, a man with the head of an enormous spider. So expect a flurry of wilder, chaotic, more animalistic moves, although Wildebeest does also have an insane energy attack being launched out from its eyes. Wildebeest, however, is incredibly strong. He may be able to defeat Fang and all of its incredible abilities. Strength, speed, and so far, Wildebeest is winning. We'll see if he can keep it up. Yeah, surprisingly, Fang, quite a few energy attacks available to it. You have nothing left. Give it up. Wildebeest mostly silent, Fang able to throw out a few taunts or two. Fang able to use all of its limbs in its attacks. But it looks like the Wildebeest's superior strength 
going to ensure that he is the victor. Wildebeest wins. Now let's head back to Titans East and take a look at a fight brewing between Red Arrow and Red X. Oh, good one. Even if it was luck. Not just because the both of them have red in their names, but also because the both of them use a lot of gadgets and a lot of martial arts prowess. Oh, good one. The both of them also obviously train to the utmost of their abilities to maintain their peak physical conditioning. We'll see which of them has trained the most. So far, it seems like Red X is managing to keep hold of his lead, doing more damage against Red Arrow. But Red Arrow is not going down without a fight. Luck next time. If there is a next time. Trying his best to lay in multiple combos against the okay? anti-hero, villain, whatever Red X is supposed to be. Trying to really hurt you. But so far, Red X is coming out victorious. There's just a flurry of martial arts moves and a flurry of gadgets being flung around the arena. I'm not trying to really hurt you. Projectiles and explosions everywhere. Good one. Even if it was luck. Hey, we have some medical help here. Oh, good one. Even if it was luck. Hey, we have some medical help here. Now they look to be in a sort of stalemate at the moment, each fighting the other, and the other blocks most, if not all, of their attacks. But Red Arrow is breaking through. I'll bet you wish Robin had never created me, don't you? But will it be in vain? Will Red Arrow at least be able to beat Red X once and bring things up to a decider fight? Give it up now before you look really bad. Both of them are really giving it their all. Hey, can we have some medical help here? I'll bet you wish Rob Each of them on the ropes. But Red X comes out victorious. Now we have two... Again, it, it's difficult to categorize whether one or both of these characters are villains, anti-heroes, whether they've learned the error of their ways, or if they're still evil. But we have Terror versus Blackfire. Energy bolts, strength, speed, flight, versus the power over the very earth itself. You're not looking too good. And it looks like Terra is trying to use that platform she's on to try and take the brunt of Blackfire's hits so she isn't just being crippled immediately. Terra wins, and of course, some showboating. One last chance to give it up. Rocks and boulders being launched around, and energy bolts lighting up the arena. 
just what you'd expect from a battle between these two. Terra's laying in a lot of hits, but Blackfire is very, very tough. One last chance to give it up. Even with a hailstorm of rocks bombarding her, up, not a lot of damage is actually being done to her. The two are going back and forth, trading blows. Give it up, friend. Trying their best to just lay the beat down on one another. You're not looking too good. And it looks like Terra is in the lead, dishing out more damage than taking it. But we'll have to see if maybe Blackfire is able to overcome this bombardment of rocks and boulders. You're not looking too good. And once again, Blackfire just being flung around the place. You're not looking too good. Oh, it looked like Blackfire was about to be done in with just one or two more hits. And then she came back with a flurry of moves. Oh, right from the very edge of defeat, she pulls back a victory. So we move on to round three, the deciding round. You're not looking too good. And Blackfire is really launching out all the attacks she can. So much energy lighting up the arena. This fight, also One last to give it up. being made more joyous by the delightful Teen Titans song in the background. Very nice. Some nice joyous music to go along with this bloody, brutal fight. After the amount of punishment these girls are putting each other through, I can't help but want to see the both of them end up winning and end up going through to the next round. But that's not how the rules work. Blackfire is taken down and Terra wins. So we're moving into Mumbo's top hat as he goes up against Raven. Ordinarily, I wouldn't suspect Mumbo of having a chance against this sorceress. But as the fight is being held within Mumbo's realm, within a place where he controls the rules and summons in all sorts of help, you can't help but wonder if that will play a deciding role in who will win. At the very least, he's holding out for longer than I'd imagine he'd be able to. That's my kind of match. Playing cards and bunnies exploding all around Raven. But they also seem to be causing quite a bit of a hindrance to Mumbo himself. And it looks like Mumbo's tactic of fighting Raven inside his own specialized arena is not paying off. Round one goes to Raven. Let's see if Mumbo has any more tricks up his sleeve. More bombs, more bunnies coming into the stage. Pink fluffy explosions galore. And this time, they do seem to be getting the better of Raven. But with one almighty move, she's able to deal with the lot of them, whilst laying in some more hits 
Onto Mumbo himself. I don't think this magician has much more left to give. Not when he's up against such stupendous magic as Raven's. Raven wins. So now we move on to the final fight of this batch of heroes and villains. Jinx versus a slightly smaller Plasmus. After Starfire managed to beat him up and cut him down to size in her fight, it seems like a huge sludgy pile has managed to gain sentience and has decided to join the competition. Whilst I wouldn't imagine a smaller, less powerful version of Plasmus would stand much of a chance in the Tournament of Heroes when the fully formed one was beaten by Starfire, against Jinx, however, it may stand a chance. So far, however, Jinx is making a mockery of him. Real sorry about that. <laughs> Bad brain. You're a goner. This kid Plasmus able to launch out even smaller portions of itself to try I'm real sorry. Fighting against Jinx from multiple angles, but Jinx is not letting up. I'm real sorry about Focusing on the big form, I'm not really going after the small fry. And I think this will be the end of Plasmus entirely. Yep, that's it for that goopy monster. So, join us next time, where we see the victors of this tournament collide against one another to try going even further. Until then, bye for now.